when nothing is going right, go left. So something is going left. Something is not going the way that somebody expected. And it could be this karmic energy um, expected a specific outcome or a certain outcome. And things are not going the way they thought it was going to. Patience is a virtue, but I don't want to wait. So somebody did something impatiently. And so everything is all lopsided. You want to know a secret in the reverse. So this person was holding a secret, keeping a secret, or somebody found out a secret. <clears throat> oh, wow. So they were trying to keep a secret hidden from being exposed. You may know their secret, and they are not happy about the secret being exposed. If it's not you, somebody else knows this secret. <clears throat> and they did something impatiently, and everything is just going... Uh, it's not going according to plan. So something is not going according to plan. Yeah, there's a cord cutting. You could have done a cord cutting or something is severed. There's something here that has been severed. Somebody's connection, someone's tie, someone trying to keep themselves bound to you. This could be in a relationship. This could be a business. Um, this could just be someone who's all up in your business. Um, and that cord has been severed. Somebody does not have access. And there's a secret they're trying to keep either about themselves or about their involvement with something. And either you know this or somebody else knows it. And they really do not want something being exposed. So they could be trying to dig up some dirt on you. Maybe some sort of blackmailing could be going on. Someone wants to bring you some flowers. Somebody wants to be caring and empathetic, but it's to, it's to catch you up in a web. So you cut some sort of cord. Um, someone is not attached to you energetically anymore, but they're wearing a disguise. They're hiding something. So this person that wants to come towards you and appear as if they're caring and compassionate, they're wearing a disguise. They're, there's a hidden motive here because somebody was a coward. Somebody was weak. They could have tried to weaken you, um, but this person is ultimately ultimately a coward um but there's a group of people here something is moving um a group of people could be moving to take some sort of action because they're waking up to the truth somebody was using technology in a negative way so somebody tried to do some slick shit using technology catfishing lying being manipulative um they did something on technology um they were being deceptive they were hiding who they really were um, what their intentions were, and they had malicious intent behind something. They thought that they could possibly weaken you. So maybe you have a platform or something. This person could have tried to use technology to weaken you or try to stop you from doing something that you're doing um, because they're not attached to you anymore and they don't like the fact that you're moving forward without them. Uh, they could be. They could have used the technology to spy on you or... Um, you know, they could have just done something really shady, like pretended to be somebody else to catfish you. Uh, just to cause problems. Somebody was just trying to cause problems, plain and simple. Um, I'll go to my office cards first. Somebody was being dramatic. Someone who's definitely a karmic. Somebody who could even pretend to be in the upright, but they're really not. Determined worker, intense good worker. So someone's not good at their job. Someone's not good at what they do. So this could be someone, a karmic, who's imitating, trying to do what you do. Um, and they could think that maybe you're unsuspecting or you don't know. But in this picture, this this guy is smiling because they know something. You know something um, that somebody was being false. So you knew or you know that somebody is being false. Nothing stresses me out except having to seek the approval of my inferior. So you know this person is inferior to the, to you. You vibe um, in very high vibrations, okay? So you caught on very quickly. So um, energetically, there was an alert. Your spiritual team alerted you that something wasn't right with this person. And you knew, but maybe you didn't say anything. This person was very confident and smug that you didn't know what they were trying to do, but they were intentionally trying to stress you out, and they could have been using technology to do this. They sat there stone-faced and acted like they weren't doing something. You could be a card reader. You could be holding your cards to your chest, keeping things quiet, moving in silence. This is giving the energy of somebody who would like, um, say you're a tarot reader. So if somebody here reads cards, 
this is somebody who creates like a fake account, a fake profile, gets a reading, um, comes up with some bullshit as to why they want a reading and try to gaslight you and then tell you it was like the worst reading they ever got and they don't like the answers you gave them or the format or how you do reading, something like that. And then once um, a refund or some stupid shit like that. Well, however this worked out, I mean, that's just an example, but... Um, so then they could have tried to um, file a complaint with, you know, your source of um, payment or something like that. Um, but somebody, somebody really was just doing some stupid shit. And they were trying to do this intentionally to stress you out. So, and, and they could be a reader themselves. And they were just intentionally trying to sabotage you and your work because... They want clout. This is a clout chaser, you know, and I'm just using this as an example. It doesn't have to be that, but um, it could just be you holding your cards to your chest and you're not exposing the fact that you knew or that you know that they were catfishing you and being deceptive and being a liar. Um, if you are a reader, maybe you did a reading for them and you picked up that they were a liar and you may have even said that someone in the reading was lying and being dishonest. They may not have liked that because you called them out on their bullshit. But instead of just letting something go in return, they started some drama with you and tried to stress you out and tried to affect your energy as if it were going to do anything. I mean, some people just need to get a life. But, you know, that doesn't always happen, so... <clears throat> Karmics are karmic for a reason, and it doesn't matter. Okay, so I used the tarot card reading as an example. So, this could have even been somebody who had been doing this for years. Say, like, I don't know, uh, multiple years. And maybe you just went public with something because maybe people didn't know you were a card reader or something. This person thought that they knew more than you or they knew everything. That's why that came out in the reverse at the beginning. So they are going to portray them, portray you as if you're the fake, you're the fraud, just because they came out as a reader before you, but they really don't know what the fuck they're doing and they're not really tapped in. And that's why things don't go well for them because they're not the real deal. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter who started doing something first. Um, you, you know, the person that was doing something first, just doing it wrong, or that wasn't gifted, they can actually be the copycat, because they could be ones that are stealing other people's work to get attention, to get clout, so keep that in mind, it doesn't matter if someone started doing something before you, you could start reading cards today, and just because someone has been doing it for years, or months, or weeks before you started doing it, um, you could find that someone's starting to steal your work, or something like that, and um, imitating you or copying you, and that doesn't make you the copycat. Somebody was just trying to scare you, and they're like, whoa, 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 that's not how this is supposed to go down. Because you're the official person, you are a true spiritualist, teacher, preacher, advisor, whatever. Um, you are connected, and you are very high-ranking spiritual. If someone's like, no, 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 they can't be this because I don't like them. Um, they don't do things how I do them, or they don't do things how I want them to do them. Well, bitch, or sir, um, stay in your lane, mind your business, um, find a different route. I mean, someone's watching, they think they're being slick, they think they're being sneaky, they're trying to spy on this official person. <sighs> Bitches be crazy, you know that. Somebody thought it was a secret that they were wearing a disguise, but the energy doesn't lie, and your spirit team told you what they were up to before they even tried to do it. That's why you took some sort of action. So somebody, okay, so say somebody did get a reading for you. So like, um, in my readings, I record them and send them. So, and then after they're viewed, sometimes they get deleted, okay? Um, and a lot of people request that the videos get deleted after they view them, which is fine. So, somebody watched their reading. Uh, I'm just using this as an example. So, somebody could have watched their reading. They were pissed about it. They didn't like it. Um, or they just wanted to start some drama for you. And so, then they started complaining and making a lot of noise to sabotage you and your work. Um, and they didn't think that you would find this out. They didn't think that you would know. So, say your spirit team, like sent a glitch to your phone and there was something with that specific video that started glitching out and it was draining like your data or something like that or draining your battery and you had to delete it because you didn't have a choice but it was after the person had viewed it so they got you know they got what they needed they saw the message and your spirit team um sent you um you know a, a red flag alert 
and the video started glitching. And um, so say, I'll use this as an example. So say you have um, like you're uploading videos, okay? So say you're uploading like two collective reads and then this video uploaded like the day before or hours before, but it keeps saying like processing and then ready to watch and processing like it, it's glitching out and flashing, but it, and it's, it's causing the other uploads to not upload or to take longer and it's draining your data and stuff like that. So you already know the video has been watched. Um, you know, you've already responded accordingly, whatever, everything's been taken care of. So then you delete the video and then this person comes back and starts some drama. Well, I should be able to access this video whenever I want to. Well, no, no, that's not how this works. The spirit, your spirit team alerted you to take some sort of action. And there was a reason for it because then right after you took this action, this person started their shit. So your spirit team alerted you ahead of time to take a specific action because you knew and they knew that this person was on some bullshit and they were trying to do something with bad intentions. So keep that in mind. Your, your spirit team is going to warn you. I mean, if you're high ranking, you know, if you're the higher fan, if you're the official person here, you get your downloads in different ways, whether it's audio, um, you know, signs, synchronicities, whatever, um, or glitches like that, or like lights flashing, whatever, okay? However you're alerted, you get your downloads and you read the energy, you know something isn't right with somebody, so you have to listen to your spiritual team, right? Because that's who's, that's who's guiding you, you have to. Um, so you were guided to do something, you took some sort of action, and this person turned out to be exactly what you thought they were, what your spirit team alerted you that they were, that they were wearing a disguise, that they were not being honest, that they were a liar, that they were a fraud, that they were a copycat, they're a counterfeit, whatever the case, okay? This person was being very deceptive. And they didn't think you knew about it. But they only confirmed what you already knew. So that could be a secret in a, in in of itself. Like they were, they, they were, they thought that you didn't know that um, they were trying to catfish you and they were really somebody else or that they had bad intentions and they got put in their place real quick by your spiritual team and by your ancestors because they don't play about you. It's because you're grounded. You know where you're supposed to be. You're exactly where you're supposed to be doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, whoever this message is for. Now, some people still have work to do. You know, we always have more work to do. We always have to keep growing, learning, and, you know, that's just how it is. But whoever you are, this came out sideways. So you are currently grounded, okay? You are in alignment with what you should be doing. Somebody was trying to break a cycle for you. Somebody just wanted to do something to cause you harm, but that cycle is over. The people that had access to you to disrupt you and cause heavy burdens for you they no longer have access and they're finding they're trying to find new ways and different tactics and all this other bullshit to try to cause you disruption in what you're doing somebody could want to partner up with you or you want to partner up with somebody else there's something that someone is not seeing clearly about a partnership this could be someone even not seeing something clearly about somebody they're already connected to or in a relationship with. Somebody broke a contract or um, they made a deal with somebody to break something for you, to stop something for you, to stop something from happening it's like they wanted to close out a cycle for you, but instead the cycle of them being allowed to access you because you're in your life's calling, you're grounded, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. There was a deal that was made to cause some sort of disruption for you. And there's a group that's not seeing something clearly either about somebody you're connected to, or there's something that you're not seeing clearly about a group. <clears throat> there's a group here and a couple. So there's something that's being hidden or distorted regarding a couple. 
and a group. You don't have to be part of this couple. You could be single. This could just be a separate couple, okay? But there's something that's being blurred or that someone is trying to keep secret regarding a couple and a group. And there was a group that could have walked away from doing something or they needed to because a contract is over. Something is broken. There's a, a broken deal here. Um, and it could have been a couple that made a deal with this group to once again cause problems for you. And there's reflection going on. Someone is taking a moment to reflect about this group and the actions they're taking and what they're doing. <clears throat> and someone is trying to keep it hidden that they are connected to this group. So, um, you know, not to um, get anyone in hot water, but someone's snitching. Someone within the group is keeping something hidden. And they could be the ones who are spilling the beans, um, revealing some sort of secret. Someone connected to this group knows a secret, and there's some reflection going on about this group. So, um, and someone's getting burned by a bad business deal for watching and stalking, possibly, possibly stalking, harassing, whatever, a family. So there was some sort of family. Someone's reflecting about a family as well. And a deal that was made about a mess that was created regarding a family and someone's work, someone's employment. Someone didn't want to work with someone's family or help them clean up a mess. You know, there was a family that could have been just struggling to survive and there was a group of people here and a couple that made a deal to cause harm to this person. <clears throat> the deal could be over because someone's out of resources. They don't, they don't have money to pay. So, like I said, I think I mentioned blackmail or extortion. Somebody could be blackmailed or extorted for money. And somebody doesn't have any more money to give this person. And that could be why this person is choosing to, um, you know, snitch, tell, rat, whatever, help, whatever you want to call it. Someone is um, speaking out about what is going on here. And it's someone within their own group. You know, there's a very emotional situation that's going on and someone's rushing in quickly with some sort of communication. So someone could be trying to cover their own ass. You know, somebody didn't pay up. There's a financial imbalance that's created. Someone tried to keep someone bound, trapped, stuck. They could have even tried to have them locked up. <clears throat> Whether this was the couple or the group. But there was a couple here that could have paid or could have been being extorted or tried to pay a group for something. They could have stopped paying because they ran out of money. And um, so this group could be walking away, but someone within that group is talking because something is backfiring on them and something is being exposed. And um, this could be like a plea deal or something. Someone is, you know, you're persevering through these heavy burdens. So they tried to cause you these heavy burdens, but you're persevering through and there's going to be a cause for a celebration here. And to be fair, I'm, I'm being led to say in some cases, not all, but in some cases, your heavy burdens are because someone unknowingly put you in a third party situation. And so, um, you know, that home record thing has come out. So this couple, um, you know, whoever this was that could have put you in a third party, this isn't the case for everyone, but you know, Whoever put you in that third party situation, reconciled with whoever this is, there could have been a separation, something like that, and then they ended up getting back together. Then they started both attacking you, okay? And so they, you know, one or both of them, you know, one may not have known what the other was doing. One of these people in this relationship may have been doing this unknowingly. Uh, this could have even been the person that put you in a third party situation and you walked away from them and so they decided to make your life a living hell afterwards. The other person in that relationship may not even know what's going on. So, you know, there's, it's not for everybody, but for some that could be the case. There's something moving, traveling, and then there's a karmic. So a karmic person, uh, this person could be coming towards you in some way or trying to travel towards you because you're persevering and you're happy. This person is going to make some sort of effort to communicate with you because they're not moving on to calmer waters. This is a tyrant, this emperor in reverse. 
they created this financial imbalance um, or there is a financial imbalance for this person because they lied king of swords in the reverse it could be this masculine energy who was part of this couple that was paying this group to do something or that's being extorted or they could this person could have even turned on the group but in the one picture it looks like the group is walking away from doing something or somebody is walking away from them but i i kind of feel like the group is um done doing something because they started doing it based on some sort of lie and this masculine doesn't have the money to pay them anymore something is over ten of swords because someone's in poverty with the page of pentacles so someone isn't getting money whether this is you that they are trying to get it from or this masculine in the reverse something is over and something is permanently over because someone is in poverty <clears throat> somebody doesn't have the money to give them even if it's not a literal po poverty this person doesn't have the finances to spare so they can't pay this group but this king of swords caused you a heartbreak they could have you know they affected your finances in some sort of way so it's like they could have tried to drain you for resources and there could maybe there's no resources to get so you know there was somebody meeting up with somebody secretly and then we have the queen of cups here who's in the upright someone or it doesn't even mean necessarily that they're in the upright but someone was meeting up with somebody secretly this person could be jealous of you or you could be the queen of cups who's loving caring compassionate i'd like to get a few more cards okay so this is you you're the queen of cups because you're coming out of the cold here so if you were left out in the cold for this third party or whatever bullshit that this couple or this group were doing to you you're coming out of the cold something is moving for you you could be moving away from this karmic this situation there was an imbalance that was created you're strong courage leo could be significant Libra, something was unbalanced. They created an imbalance for you. Something is unbalanced and something has to be balanced out. Balance needs to be restored because whatever heartbreaking things um, is sacred. So you are sacred. You are a sacred person. You can have sacred knowledge, but something is out of balance. Somebody was not sacred. Somebody was very dark, deceptive. <clears throat> somebody abused their power and created an imbalance like nothing is sacred to somebody there there are boundaries that somebody just would go to any lengths to cross i mean this person is really dark they really didn't care who got hurt in the process and that could be this group or the person that paid this group but there was an imbalance that was created and they really held no you know it's like nothing was sacred to these people they were willing to cross boundaries go through any links and you're going to have a victory because these people are playing you have a victory because they're playing games you know and you know how to play like you're protected you're not playing games you're just you're just you like something comes easily or naturally to you I never apologize I'm always right so somebody thought they were they were right they wanted you to think that they were always right um they were driving by your home there someone drives by your home so they could have been stalking you trying to make you trying to find dirt on you or something it could have even been this group they're not sorry for what they've done someone's not sorry 
something is fake love. I did not trip and fall. This is fake love. So somebody could have, like I said, put you in a third party and someone in that relationship that's part of that couple could be the one who's attacking you or it could be the person you walked away from because you found out they were, um, you know, in a third party dealing with them or they made you out to be a third party. Yeah, something was just an illusion, a bag of chips full of air. Something was, it had no substance. This person has no substance to them. They're trying to gaslight you. They're trying to convince you that they care when they really don't. They're trying to convince you that everything that's happening is all in your head. Um, they said they only wanted you. I only want you in the reverse, but that's obviously not true if they're part of this couple. Um, or even part of the group that's attacking you, depending on where they fall in all of this. Something is all in divine timing. You could have told this person you wanted to be left alone because you knew that they were lying to you when they said that they only wanted to be with you. Someone is anxious. Something is in divine timing. Someone's anxious because they know something is going to be exposed, man. Something is, is going to be brought out. <clears throat> Someone's feeling anxious and depressed. It could be because they participated in these activities. Someone will tell you some important information. So somebody knows the truth. They just haven't spoke out about it. So someone knows. Sorry, I didn't pick up my phone. So somebody could be avoiding another person because they know what they did or what they've done. This could be the person that um, knows the secret and that could be exposing it. And it has to do with children. So children are involved in a situation as well. And they're trying to purposefully cover their ass. So somebody could have put children in harm's way or used children as leverage. Somebody could have lost their children because of this. <clears throat> because of this financial imbalance that was created. Someone could be anxious or depressed. They could be afraid that they were going to get raided. They could have tried to set you up for a, a drug bust or something. A raid, drug bust, SWAT teams in the reverse. Oh, wow. Someone could have made a phone call and made a false report or allegation. And they were expecting you to get raided or a SWAT team to come bust in your house or some shit. They were trying to do something involving your children, like maybe get your children taken away or something. And they're trying to cover this up. Like they were trying to set you up to be arrested, like legitimately. And they're anxious and depressed that um, this is going to come back and blow up in their face because someone stopped communicating with them when they found out what they did. Wow. Charges will be filed, so they have a reason to be anxious and depressed, because there are good cops, good law officials that are involved in something, and, you know, someone's plans are getting canceled. All this bullshit, these plans, these deals that they made behind the scenes, these backdoor deals, they their plans are getting canceled. Someone's as dull as dishwater, and they thought you were. I mean, they, someone really is as dull as dishwater. They really thought they were going to get by with this slick shit. And come to find out, that's not the case. So the initials Q, R, S, or T could be significant. Blank, blank. Capricorn could be significant in July. Into Taurus, blank. October, on a Tuesday. Water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then I have Scorpio and then blank. Taurus here. Somebody wanted to be as stubborn as a mule when it came to being 
poor as a church mouse. So somebody really wanted someone to be poor, or this person who's being as stubborn as a mule that was stubborn is poor because of what they've done. Someone janking your chain. They lost control. Take the tiger by his tail. So they want to come back because they lost control of a situation, but they're trying to yank your chain. Something is for show. Someone is still trying to manipulate and scam you. It's because they're afraid they're going to end up in their worst nightmare. Their worst nightmare is ending up in poverty, and that's where they're headed. Oh, Pisces could be significant, and a Taurus is in the reverse. So there's a there could be a Taurus here who's yanking a Pisces chain. Or flip the rules as needed. Scared stiff. Someone's not getting their happily ever after. This There's a third party here who's not getting their happily ever after, possibly because... Um, <clears throat> If this was the third party that this person um, was dealing with behind your back, they could be getting arrested going to jail because they could have worked with this person to set it up or they're going to be left out in the cold when this person gets locked up. Some sort of charges are being filed. Aries, you're a good kind soul, so there's a good kind soul. Or you could have been the third party unknowingly who is an Aries and you're a good kind soul. So there could be an Aries here who was unknowingly a part of a third party and you didn't know anything about it because you're actually actually a really loving and caring person. And somebody just didn't want to learn their lesson and leave you alone. But you err on the side of caution, better safe than sorry. So you don't just jump into something. Um, you've learned you've learned your lessons. These people don't seem to learn theirs. That's why they're karmic. You know, you, you learned your lesson, you moved on. These people obviously didn't and they keep doing some bullshit and so this is going to catch up with them Oops. all right person place or thing the letter y could be significant someone could be asking themselves why something is going to happen or why something went sideways why something went left p um the yellow pages could be significant someone could be trying to look you up another y are someone is trying to pry into your personal information as well someone is trying to pry for information Jeez. b Something is going to be made public. Another why. Why is definitely significant here. Why, why, why. Oh man, someone is panicking. Yeah, someone's really screwed. Someone is really screwed. Why, why, why. Oh. A fourth why. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Alright, last one, I guess. Oh man, you've got to be kidding me. Five whys. That's a why. There's five whys. Wow. So there could be five people asking them. Oh, let's do one more, man. There could be up to five people asking themselves why they're getting caught up in something. And another R. Railroad tracks could be significant. Someone could live by railroad tracks. Or something could have occurred by railroad tracks. Um, all right. So, yeah, there's five people asking themselves why. Something could have occurred by railroad tracks um, or lives by them. And then PB could be significant. All right. I hope this helps. Have a good day.